G'day and hi good people, it is Milmo here back for some more tier 3, tier 4 action and up to the mark we've got at the moment the newest character to the clan and that is our new beginning Jesus. He's the second strong Jesus to come out in this game. Essentially he's going to be known for different aspects compared to this other Jesus. Of course the other Jesus is this command one with this hit and heal. This one is very different in regards to what he does. He has a very, very amazing leader skill arm. This was the guy I was talking talking about that would take my team ultimately to beast mode and he has done that with that leader skill and he will be known for that leader skill more than anything um certain characters are known for specific things and he will definitely be known for that leader skill but also that cool samurai outfit let's not forget that samurai outfit that is absolutely awesome that outfit and definitely is eye-catching so he will be also i guess he will be essentially the samurai jesus won't he but let's get off the subject of his absolutely awesome outfit and move on to some stats now essentially his leader skill the one i was talking about that he's going to be known by the very the thing that i want him the most for and the thing that's going to take my team to the next level is that all melee teammates get a very large bonus to AP when attacking and 30% attack. Now if you think about it, he takes Green Michonne's leader skill and he betters it. Now Green Michonne is exactly the same leader skill except the very difference is she's trait specific, she's trait orientated, it's only specific to all strongs her leader skill whereas his is melee so he allows you to have this mystery aspect and this mysterious aspect to your game and your team setup so will you have a green leader with all yellows behind it will you have an all green team will you have a mixture of green and yellows he just allows you to actually mix up your team a bit more and add a bit of um mysteriousness to it I guess compared to a leader that is trait specific. Another similar leader skill that you can think of is actually Blue Andrea so the original Blue Andrea but hers is specific to all tough so that's another one you can think of and like I said that's trait specific he allows you to have a bit of mystery in there with that melee aspect. Now if we move on to his rush adrenaline rush um it's not overly anything special it is a very nice rush I'm not taking from that it's a very nice rush but the main reason for hunt, ha wanting him and having him and I guess the main thing he will be known by will be that leader skill but nevertheless his adrenaline rush is very impressive in its own right so he has the focus slash it has the 45 AP so the very fast one deals 650 percent damage uh, that's quality amount of damage you think it Andrea and even the green, one of the green Michonnes, they're at 800%. Shiva, they're at 800%. So he's not far off that with the 650% damage to one enemy. And then he also gives himself plus 45% attack and defense for two turns. So not a bad little rush for him. Um, definitely he could be doing some killing with that 650% damage, especially when he's led by his own leader skill. You got the plus 30% attack on top of that. He's going to be doing a solid amount of damage. And once again, led by that very large bonus bonus to AP it's going to be going off very quickly with that very fast 45 AP essentially he is I guess the missing aspect I needed in regards to leader skill for my greens and also my mixed teams of my greens and yellows he's going to allow me to have a very effective team almost he's going to allow me to have a team that's the equivalent of a team full of blue Andreas with a shielder he's going to allow me to have that but it's going to be a mixture of greens and yellows with very similar um very fast ap's but just different setup with i guess melee characters rather than a full team of andreas Nonetheless, it won't be a full Andrea team, but it will have some solid amount of hitters behind it. It will have a Shiva behind him. He will also have a Reviver behind him and a Shielder lead there too. So he's going to um, definitely lead my team into, I guess, a, f a fair few defends, I imagine. He's going to make my team very hard to beat. Now, I think it's going to be quite a handful when people start coming up against it. I'm actually interested to see how people go and what sort of teams they need to try and beat it but if we move on to his stats when he's actually maxed out he's actually oh he's got a fairly nice level and it's fairly even in regards to his stats he's not overly weak in any category and it's fairly nice and high if you think about his attack it maxes out at 815 his defense at 819 so fairly even stats which is really nice like i say you usually find a character is um, high in a certain category and low in a certain one when they're nice and even in the 800s like that you know you're getting a solid character and they're going to be very hard to handle he's got a very nice amount of attack at that 815 and a very good defense to back it up at 819 his hp you would like 
maybe be a tad higher, but overall, the 1,069, that is putting him in pretty good stead to hold up against those big hitters and a fair amount of attack. So it's not overly high compared to some characters, but it is high enough to, I guess, like I said, hold up against those big hitters and a fair few attacks. Um, if you, Like I said, if you can get any character in the 800s attack, 800s defense, you know they're, they're going to be a handful and they're going to be able to withstand a fair amount of attack and also deal out a fair amount of attacks. And he's fairly easy in both of them categories, which makes him an even valuable player in that regard. Uh, you put on top that leader skill, he's a, a player worth having, but also a player that can make a big difference in your team. Like I said, he is going to take my team to the next level with that leader skill and add also another big hitter into the pack so he's definitely a very valuable player you know he gets all ticks in every three category he has attack good attack tick there defense absolutely brilliant too tick there hp could be a bit higher but anything within the 1000 hp is always a solid amount so tick there overall a very nice all-round player and i look forward to using him hope you enjoyed watching have a good day and bye